Bye, Kim Dahan! Yeah. 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 Big thanks to the CEO for letting us use his, his office space. You know, he's cleared all the, the staff out today, let you use boys in, innit? <laughs> Some space, that's me. Amazing, innit? Uh, Who you, who's your staff? Sorry, just to give us their names. Just a few, innit? Who's the director's you got? <laughs> who's the cleaner? George? George, George and John. Oh, George and <laughs> Did you cut him up the Hoover? Oh, yeah, he's what? Are you hearing me? Greatest by the way, I'm not joking, I, and, and I know people probably fall asleep when I say this line because I've said it for so long. Been at the game for so long, but Friday night's one of the best oh, feelings I've ever so had fair. in my life. Genuinely. Yeah. No, listen, no for me, off, off work. Or I for me, but mere for the boys, seeing them get out there and Well, you were the man that kind of got us over the line that led us well, to victory. Obviously, when you were at the side, and obviously <laughs> I, I stepped in and, and see the boys through. But see, when I first, genuinely, when I first went up to the, when you get sent half and then Dale went and wound up. I went, fuck, it's got to be me, it goes to the touchline. See, when I took my first few steps, I heard the fans laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what well, I, you said. You, you actually didn't know what to do with your body. I didn't know what to do with my body. You started holding your like that. I was holding your hands like that, right? But then. You should have just sniffed the balls, didn't it? You should have just went wacky moment and sniffed but the But then boys. the linesman took a few steps, so he was covering me and I couldn't yeah, see. Did I, do you know what you're very good at? You're then, very good at shouting, brilliant brothers. <laughs> yeah, he's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good at that, mate. <laughs> Some coaching that, isn't it? But what a night, nice Si, wasn't it, mate? Oh, uh, mate, it was what good. a you, you, I never knew you were there. I knew you were there, oh, Kevin. Well, it was good, wasn't it? Good, yeah. mate, just another great, great game of football, Aye, wasn't it? It was so good. See, to be fair, Broder were good as well. Uh-huh. Two good teams. I thought first half you were excellent. Uh, atmosphere brilliant. Arsene Wenger finally getting his first red card. So far, it's done it at tap Old Trafford like that. But see, my favourite part is that he's in the car, right? He gets sent off. <laughs> he's about two rows behind the dugout. He sits next to the club secretary, John. He's that, like, you know, he's right in the side lane after a couple of why is he taking a touch, John? I think John Sitler. No, got a clue. <laughs> John, <laughs> it's so funny, man. The boy was there as well. You could see the boy looking at me like you're a fucking fruit cake, man. I tell you it's what, I, I drove in for the kids' football, and then uh, like I thought, fucking hell, there's actually a big crowd here. This is good back to fifteen hundred. No, sixteen hundred. It was good back to like the, the motorway, and I was thinking, nah, this kind of be awful like the game of night. And as I got in, got in, George, George, I think George Fraser says. Uh, mm. Oh, you're running late, Kevin. I wonder, George, traffic's not too early. And he went, oh, no, did he? I said, George, they're fucking queued up out there, no. by the way. He went, no, they're no. Oh, by the way, they came to me two minutes before the kickoff. I joined a push kickoff back 15 minutes. I was like, fuck it, man, let's get no. going. No, the boys are ready. The boys have been in the dressing room, finished their warm up, nothing worse going back out in no. the morning. Listen. But, well, listen to this. I'm not going to name names. I'm not, because I didn't want to single any of you because they were all brilliant, but somebody ran 15k, mate. 15k? Wow. Yeah, who? No, I think you could imagine who. I think you could guess who. I'd, I'd probably one of the young boys in the midfielders. Yeah, it's one right. of the young boys in the midfield because that's right. all they do. They just work fucking their socks off every single week they play for your team. I know you're not saying you, you don't, you don't uh, say out individuals, but I'm going to say one. Cook, how's Cookie never played in half? Mate, his career's been wasted. Half? 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 His career's been wasted as a lazy Mate, life. He's a centre half. He's an animal. He's literally a centre half. Oh, he was brilliant. He's quite but vocal as well, which I like. He is vocal, mate. Sometimes he might not shout the right things, but see, just a voice. I think it's quite important. Broder a good side as well. Yeah, they're good good players. Good players. They're like number that. 10, mate. Ah, he's, he's a great wee player. Five foot two. McCray. Brilliant. Uh-huh. Fortunately, the big boy good. they had up front there, kind of tall as man. He half from my new starter, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he got injured, the big guy up front, <laughs> didn't he? Didn't he? Him. What is that? The, the big guy up front. And their goalie got injured. I was buzzing when their goalie got No buzzing, obviously. That's the wrong word to say. Because I know Joey's a great boy. I think he's had a serious injury, which is terrible. But I thought, oh, the sub goalie. Sub goalie was fucking good. He was good. Good wee feet. Hey, even how many times did their goalie cut the ball? Because we kind of left that to happen, then brought it to a bit. What about these young goalies? Even your one, Wilson. Oh, what about mate, him? They mate? just ping mate, balls. Mate, the what about half. when he fucking, not the save? What about when he got the ball at his feet? The, the, the centre forward's coming, flying down him, and he just takes it to the side. Aye. And I was like, it, oh, that's a bit casual time, for me. See when the extra time started? Well, I'm sorry, before it started, all the boys came in. I said to him, Laz, we need to play on your centre half. He's hobbling about. Our whole game plan, get it at his seat. Game started, the guy was off. When did you say that? When did you say that? See, when the, you were after you were at the stand, so when the boys right. came in, the boy, the guy was hobbling about the centre. Josh Meekins, it was a hi. So I said, let's look at that and try to get in because you're not able to run. Mm. She had the whole team and he was half. I think first half, you, I thought, you were very agree, good the, fir- the full game at first half. I thought you were excellent. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. You showed it down the left side, is that right? Yeah. Showed it down the left side, and everyone was just front foot the full time. So The press was good, wasn't it? That was really good. But then I good thought, game I, for I, both I thought second half, it didn't control the game as much as But well, I think right, you underestimate, like, Brora yeah. always up there in the Highland League, so it, that was. That, I think everyone looked at that, mate, they beat Hearts two years ago. Yeah, beat two years ago, huh? We've been together for what, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41,
The boys are just amazing. Um, but we need to say a massive thanks to the 16 other people. No, that's amazing. That's incredible, oh. man. That's what, I, what I feel. Would that have been more than any of the top fight attendances at the weekend? Be interesting to see, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Amazing, it really is. I mean, I, I always say this again, they'll probably turn it off again because I'm sick of me repeating myself early years, but the Hydro was out of this world, obviously, the crowd, but for it to happen with a football team is just like what we obviously all love. Mm. I mean, what, it's I, support, I, I it's think, amazing. Um, the, the good thing is when you get that amount of people in the crowd, what you've got to try and obviously just put on a spectacle. And I think that happened. Four goals uh, at the extra time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A late winner. Well said, Kev. It, it, had, a, it, it, had, had, it had a wee bit of it. How was your Coventry with Moz again? Oh, mate, it was fucking... I was like, walked up the stairs and I was like, the company box was full. I said, what's going on here? Good, Kev. They've took my fucking seats. You know what it was? Fucking Bill Lecky. Uh, <laughs> what they're able to do is uh, highlight it in the, 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 the national news. And obviously I read the report. We had an interview afterwards, and uh, it was fucking good. Right up, wasn't it? A very good write up. Well, I didn't like about like right. We said it was like a lad culture where you see if you look at the crowd, I, I would agree with you. Wives, that, listen, did they say that? That, uh, that we are kind of like a lad culture. I, 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 get, I get the lad culture from maybe how we are sometimes with, with the carry on in the podcast, but in terms of the people what? that turned up for that match, I was going to say there's probably at least four hundred kids there at least, aye, and they went away loving it. Yeah. Shout out to the ball boys. I know they were playing cuppy when the game was going on. Uh, Unbelievable for them. Neil, no, my boy will never ball, but again after I was going to kill him. Friday. See when I seen that they were playing a game of football behind the goal, mate, I was fucking. But that is, mate, that is, I, I know what you're saying, but see if that sh- that Sorry, is. I, if I, that's I was anybody else. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I gave <laughs> Danny the ball. There's a ball but that's me. genius. If, if that's any other kid you're like what a hero playing it copy when the game's going on you're a ball boy again I, so outrageous. Frankie was training with uh, Charlie's team and Charlie's kid Jacob and Frankie so they, they, they got in there at 12 minutes past 8 I'm fucking going mental on the side and right. Jacob and Frankie what <laughs> Jacob what that to me alright that alright he's a lap move Mate, I'm sitting like two rows by the dugout, so I've seen that as well. You turn around. We've got move, some ball boys that, that can't even <laughs> He's see. He's actually when I put my bag, I'm like, <laughs> fucking move, man. Ball boys that can't even see over the desk, or that way. Uh, that was Gaz Fraser's net. Uh, he 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 what a boy. He's a good boy, isn't he? Did you see the. See, I, I don't know if it was on the Instagram or. Or it might have been the YouTube with the, with the highlights, but did you see all the reaction though when Evan scores? No. Oh, brilliant. That's a good, isn't it? Brilliant. Aye, go go it. watch it. What a good player he is, mate. Evan's have you seen his goal? Have you actually watched the back? He's, t- he's, he's a great touch. touch. Oh, oh, but to be fair, I thought, all your, I thought all your subs made an impact. Yeah. So Alex, I thought everyone Alex, that came on made a really good impact. Except for one, and I'll no name his name because I don't want to do him on camera. Go and play up against the centre back. I'm looking and he's deeper than fucking brothers, but anyway. <laughs> no, you're no I back. know who that is. It's fine, he's he's not back. It's fine, we'll be back one. It's fine. We'll be back one. It's you can't understand because he is 45, ah, yeah, mate. Right. You can understand why he was there. Uh, ah, but I need to say, uh, 15k, all the boys, what did they drink before the game? What do you think, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Wow! Oh, wow. Hey, 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 hey. Enough rules. You, you tasted it. Right, so give me the rendition. Andy, Andy tasted it the day first time in the Jeep, mate, didn't you? Did you like it? Oh, no, that's terrible, Jeep, but I'm really proud of it. Who still calls a Mercedes? A Jeep? <laughs> no, honestly, I, I, I liked it, mate. I, I, I would tell you, I thought it was really nice. Is really it nice? nice. Yeah. I actually feel as if oh, I feel you're ready to go. Aye. 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 You do seem like you're lying, mate. It touches every bone, doesn't it? It does touch every bone. <laughs> Get me that, a bottle. How's that? 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 Somebody yeah. says it tastes like the bottom of your dad's shoe. Uh, makes you feel fucking high as a kite, but it makes you impotent. <laughs> <laughs> you touch a bars in it. <laughs> That's a secret ingredient. Is that how you describe it? Bars? Secret ingredient. You put a bars in it. Oh, oh it's nice having to turn up this week as well. I oh, know, bad. sorry boys, missed a night shift last week, didn't I? Ah, oh, fuck it. You were on the podcast we'll five in the morning, slept in because you're... What was it, your phone was in Hugh Keevan's mouth? <laughs> but wait a minute, how did I want the podcast at five in the morning? I was supposed to be missing it for a week and you, I think it was you that said first thing, why don't we just stay pure early so you can what make it? it? I was like, I know, but have you seen the podcast when you were not? It's a free <laughs> mute slowing each other. It was like three drunk guys in the pub talking about the fit of my No, but I, I, I apologise. Did <laughs> you see that podcast? He didn't I even know who played him. We were trying to talk about hearts and <laughs> Nino's had watched the game and we were like, ah, they did well. And, uh, oh, that was the most heavily edited podcast hell. of all time. Right? <laughs> we had to stop at that. Where did Rangers play the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I was making it that way. Oh, yeah, look, because usually, usually when that, that question gives in about the football stuff, you know what you're saying, you've played against the team, and that you'll take it away, so you're relaxed. You and you were like. But he's on his B license, so. Uh, a See? license, sorry. Yeah. A license. Don't fuck about, so, who. Um, what did give something that you learnt on your F? I, I wouldn't really say, and I would say this with all four years, I don't think you would learn anything on your A license. They'll probably not like me saying that, but. It's no stuff that we don't know. Uh-huh. I think it's more, it's like your diving test. Yep. They give you a criteria that these are the boxes you want to tick. You go and do them, see when you're done. You'll probably never use them again. Yeah, no. So, what well, we're going to say um, is the, back to the crowd, amazing, but we need a drum, don't we? Uh, uh, you're mad, you're mad, 
Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Imagine George. No, but see, Jeff. You do need that. See, a regular wee young team. We uh, young uh, ultras. Uh, we need a cumbered old posse up with. I need to start that. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? My dad bought it. Sorry, sorry, Andy. So, the A license I worked with Hearts B. Oh, perfect. Friday night, who's playing? Hearts B. Make these a couple of bits of info, but I'll also give them info. I'm being a pure snake this Friday, mate. They'll they'll know your team, you'll know theirs, Sign Easy. But they've got a couple of good players. I'll give them a team now for them, mate. I know. They've got a couple of good players, but they will lose a couple to. I need to ask you because I need I want to know. I might need to tell you, but is Connor Smith, has he he played too many times to the first team that I play? I don't know. What do you need to play a certain amount of times? I think if you've played five five games to the first team, I should. I don't actually know, but what I will say is they've probably lost four. Four or five to Scotland, so one of the overages will definitely play. Definitely. But it'll be another good. I think it'll be another good game. Hearts will play. I've watched them a few times. Be unbelievable. Be. Another Friday night game as well. So get, that'll get be yourselves proper on. Fat, it's a win-win win for fat, both teams. Win-win for both that's teams. They, kids get to learn the experience of playing uh, proper football. Yeah. And your guys get to play against guys that maybe are looking to go up through the, the ranks into the Hearts first team. But at the same mm. time, your guys are still obviously thinking like that. Sorry, you're split loyalties as well. Sorry, mate. I know that loyalties. I but. I know that f- we could end up talking about that game for fucking two hours because it was that good, but your team was really young at the weekend as well. Mm. I think people don't realise how you're talking about Lowland, you're going up against experienced players, a lot of players that have dropped in for levels. The average age of your team on Saturday, except for brothers and yeah. start lineup, must well, have been Callum young. was Callum 19, Aidan 20, Matty 20, Matty's James young. 21, Brock 23, and Ryan Tierney 24 up front. Young, isn't Front mm-hmm. sizes. Uh-huh. Front seven, sorry, and that's the things a lot of the people think of that lowland league, junior league. It's like old fucking uh, big old guys that retired and they've just seen it's it changed now. 100% ah, it's yeah, changed definitely. now. These yeah. young boys, mate. See, if you told me to jump off that roof, roof they would do it, mate. Brilliant. brilliant, man. Honestly, I like, do you know what? As well, I love watching used to on the side. I, I generally do Who? love it. Used to just because how much he's love it and that it's good yeah. to watch. Let me just sit my ass and see it. <laughs> nah, but you love it, didn't you? <laughs> oh, no, it's the best like, you, the world. Rea- even your reactions to, to goals, goals and that, you can that, see yeah. how much you love Mate, it. Mate, we get too carried away at goals, I need, I need to say that. We need to calm down, do we? I think so. No, do you know fuck. No. I know, but mate, we're, we're celebrating we're like we've won the Champions League in 10 seconds. That's they go up the pitch and score. <laughs> I know, it's going to be counted though. It was your throne. I know, it's a fucking earth throne, mate. That's why I got sent off. Every ball was important. See the last minute. Scottish Cup, mate. Think we're all right, eh? I love it, mate. Love it. So right. last minute, I went up to Jim Lone and said to him, I'm going to be sick here. That's how nervous I felt for the boys. What did he say to you? He's like, fucking on with you. That's what he said to us. I needed need a wee bit of support. Like, Get fucking on with you. Great <laughs> advert for, for the game, that. Bucket that away game. in the set. Well, I can't wait, mate. Bucket away. It's over, mate. It's going to be a Can I stay in the share the room with you? No. No. Will you stay overnight? Yeah, we're going overnight. When's, where, where is Bucky's that way up by Forrest and Elgin or something there? Ah, it's me and Lynn, that's my wee, my wee travelling buddy. Physio you and the physio, uh, what a woman, Lynn is. Tra- ah, the one of the best. Heart she got an offer to leave this week and wants to stay. Heart and soul of the club, but we travel on together, so we'll be... We'll Do you know the date of the game? No. Nah. So ah, it's the weekend on the 22nd of October. No, it's not being picked yet. Sorry, sorry just to, to end this here uh, on Friday nights, that's why it's so important. We, this is why we, when we started, it was so important to play on the Friday nights because I think um, Barola walked to maybe was it 40% of the gate as well. Yeah. So it's helping other clubs as well, do you know what I mean? And you get that type of crowd in and it's Paul. a great atmosphere. So it's a great advert for Lowland League football. Um, I, I know it was the Scottish Cup, but it is a great advert for Lowland League football because on Saturdays, you've got your teams to support the higher up league. So it's, this is how to build this up. So Friday night's hanging. Do Jane Hearts will bring a crowd? I think they'll bring, I think, I don't think they'll bring a crowd. What they'll do is the people that live around the area, like Cumbernauld, maybe like further back, Kirky, stuff like that. There'll be people in there that maybe are heart season tickets that might think, you know what, when they're probably coming all the night with my wee man and watch, maybe see, because I remember as a kid growing up in Shinar, if Celtic B, no Celtic B, Celtic Reserves or Rangers ah, Reserves came to Stair Park, Man. your dad would take you on a Tuesday night. He, but takes he brings his wee man up every game that's there. He's been excellent as well. He's been up for it. Paul's been up for it. No success, Paul's been up for it. By the way, you should get the Jet in the commentary for That's what I was going to say. Billy and Jet. You, you, Jet and Billy. But you should genuinely though. See that crowd? That that was you, mate. That wasn't a Brora. Brora never brought 500 to... To make up that total, that all came for you. No, so that's but that's why right. they get forty percent of the game. I know, but what I'm saying is, you're saying about Hearts bringing a crowd on Friday. That crowd was generated yeah, by Hearts. No, of course. But that's what I'm just saying. If we could get that again, but Hearts also had to. Who knows what? Aye. Could, who There's going to be a few be. people on Friday night, and more than a few that will who walked away and thought, you know what, I'll go back next Friday. This night will be home. my first one I'll miss. Oh, really? How are you? Twenties playing a Friday. Oh fuck! So he's on. Oh, disaster. He's not moving to Thursday now. Is that allowed? Do you want to go well, Ro- Ro- Robbie's, Robbie's in Venice, so it's, it's me on my own, so I'd... Do you want to take the first team and I'll go with the 20s? <laughs> <laughs> I need to ask you as well, did you smell, did you smell it on Champions League night? 
Do you know ten minutes for Jesus? No, no. I want to laugh. He must have actually doesn't get a laugh. No, no. no? Hope you, you win these next Champions League. I'll get out of fucking. Only thing is, you'll be stoned for about two days. Your dad had the jars out. I must not. No, his man's knickers are shaking them. I've seen That's that the best I've heard. I've seen you got Capaldi was mentioning you on the radio. You see it? No. Tell Aye. everyone you're, he's, he's, he's oh. your neighbour. No. He said no. that Lenny's been leaving notes on his motor. I took Aye. a fucking part in my spot. I don't know why he's saying that on the radio because see, when I see him in the street, he never talks to you. Is he him yet? Oh, mate, he's just straight down like that. I don't think he likes me, mate. I swear to God. <laughs> You've never taken to him, but no, I no. That was funny. Fan. I'd love to tell no, the story. I like him. When, why he left his house that night. Do you yeah. remember it? <laughs> <laughs> Make him at one day. That was genius, man. Uh, right, Grosvenor, who wants to do it? Do you think you can do it without looking at it? I bet 20 you get 50 with any casino you go to. Um, no, no, you need to no, go to Grosvenor. <laughs> <laughs> any casino you go to. <laughs> Take the, Gro- the Grosvenor off front of any casino. <laughs> Bet 20 get but 50 with Grovner PC. Grovner PC 25 50. When you sign up, bet £20 on your online casino, they'll get a £50 free bet to play with. I don't think that's been spoke about enough. That is unbelievable. That is a great one. £50 on your money. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sign up at gsport.com forward slash open goal. Grovner have been unbelievable. Just before we move on to the thing, are you going to, because you're in charge and Robbie's away, are you going to change anything? Is there something anything you've seen that you don't like? You've been dead and you think, fuck that. Maybe I'll be changing down. shape. Oh wow! That, that's that's wow. Been, that's been oh, fair. Robbie. That's totally that's Robbie. No, no, but, no, that's because he's been on his airline. No, no, but you you know why you were there for the game of the last twenty minutes of East Coast Brighton. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, me and yeah. Robbie have had a wee chat about that because one thing our boys are good at is they all want the ball, but sometimes it leaves the, the striker a wee bit isolated with the formation. Have you got, got your so. main striker well, we back? We had some more problems. Josh's back, aye. Right. We had some more problems. And then you've changed it. And we we've said for the start we played four three. I would play it anyway, but we played 4 3 3 at the start because you've played it. So now you're, you've changed. I think we should change it anyway. So. I'm, I, that new formation's worked a treat for us. I definitely mean. That's I what, think, again, you see when you first take it, I'm never changing for what, but you need to. I think you use you, you you a better front foot yeah. to change listen, that as well. Listen, and there's, no, there's no shame in being. I think, I think it shows. Adaptability. Adaptability. You've got Good to be work. clever. You can't just. Because if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're fucking. If it's the same every week and it's not working, teams just fucking say, you know what? Because Brawler, I saw, I know it was Brawler. When you got the ball, try to play out, yeah. they pushed up and they went for that clip to the left back. But he's. Because you and Lind, you and Lind never stay the same. You change oh, it. Every, you change, change it. Every every week. Week. Pass me Sproul about all the time. time. <laughs> all the time, change it up. Who usually? <laughs> who, usually change, who usually decides to change the formation? She's, she's thinking about changing the bill. To be fair. What? She's thinking about changing the bill. Does that mean change? Like change you? me, aye. I shit. Aye, so How are you not gaining that? I'll be a no, teacher. It's just because uh, I'm <laughs> head teacher, wasn't it? Because I'm because uh, I'm injured. Not the Johnny. Not a person. Not Johnny, wasn't it? Because I'm injured. Because I'm injured. Because I'm injured. Struggling to do as much work as I usually do. She says I need to change the bill. Wow. Aye. So. What? Some of these years have picked up. Man. No, sorry. She said bill. <laughs> what, you never get a bill. You mate. No, oh, fuck it, Bill. Mosquito. Hamster, that. Mosquito. <laughs> hamster. She's not looking for a mosquito now. <laughs> right boys, we've talked long enough and we've tried to avoid it, but let's go on to St Mirren v Celtic side, what do you think? No, 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 I'm, I want to give St Mirren all the credit in the world. Because ah. do you know what, see Stephen Robinson, everyone you speak to in football is kind of hit and miss with Stephen Robinson. Ah. But I think he's a very good coach. Coach? Aye, ah, yes. Very good. I think, again, we, we spoke about before, people's defensive records, sign a good team, their defensive records, and you can see why. And that's the first time I've actually seen them full 90 minutes, I thought they were outstanding. So and I'll hold my hands up as well, because see, after the, the end, obviously, last season when they first went, and then the, they started with the League Cup campaign, we getting beat with Arbor yep. off, could beat with somebody else, get knocked out the cup. I thought that he's probably needs to start the season very, very mm. well. And they started the season poor, first couple really of games. Cut. Lost against Motherwell, I can't remember who they lost against the first game of the season. But then since then, mate, what a run they're on. He's got a great foot, he's got a the way he wants to put through the formation, and it? Yeah. The three centre halves. The boy up front makes it. The two of them, main and yeah, yeah, they two are great. Because Main's the one that will, will, will sort of bully people. Main's and a bully, mate, isn't he? Isn't he? But mm-hmm. that's great because they two work when he can get them in, drag people in, let bully people, and then the big boy can run after them. It's the best really sign they've, they've ever made St. Mum's. What he's done with Jamie O'Hara is unbelievable. He's, uh, he's brilliant. He's giving him that hard man. I mean, think of the size of Jamie no. O'Hara before he How he's got him down to that? He's done well, hasn't he? The wee meatball. The wee meatball. By the way, watch it. He had him at Motherwell, though, didn't he? I had him at Motherwell. Watch the episode of the meatball because we terrorised him, didn't oh. we? Oh, fucking hell. We man got it stinking. <laughs> but only the, bo- the boy O'Hara's outstanding. Great plan. Let's be, a, be serious, Mar- uh, Marco Mark O'Hara. Mark O'Hara, he's great. By the way, I watched him via Dundee United and they were outstanding that day and he was a driving force in the team and you're only as good as that type of player side. Mm. That driving force and, uh, uh, and captain, the captain. He he was he was excellent. He was excellent again yesterday. Um, he's done a great job there. Would you? Yeah. What's your what's your thoughts for a Celtic point of view? 
No good enough. But uh, see, before we go on to say that, I also want to mention Strain. I thought Strain was outstanding. He was. Right back. I thought the I thought the, as a team in setting up in a in a formation a unit and how you went they they stuck to that. No, just buy in. Just uh, they, they were very. Nobody does their own thing. Even when Celtic got the ball and tried to, break, they couldn't break them down. Because they were so organised and compact, it made it difficult. Spaces were tight to get the ball. As soon as I, <laughs> jo- I got it when he came on, right on top of him. Yeah. Every single player, the, the, the ones that sold it, players you would think had a wee bit of creativity. Even when O'Reilly came on, straight on the top, no a minute. And then when it came up front, the big boy, a young gun main, held oh, up yeah. long enough for the team just to get up enough for Celtic. See, my thing as well, right? It's even Celtic go 1 0 down. It, it, Every, everyone in the country sick they'll come back and win that anyway mm. see you look at the stats at, uh, at the end of the game never mind the possession because you felt that but see with the shots compared to St Mirren's I know you're looking at it and think didn't he feel like that can't remember Carson making a scene aye didn't he feel like that didn't he feel as if Celtic were peppering yeah, no, the goal there was probably one, one really good chance that Gia Marcus had with the header when he headed it down into the ground yeah. he heads that and he probably maybe scores but apart from that there wasn't anything of note you would have said, oh, well, they should have scored that, or they should have scored that. They didn't have it, but yeah. sitting there, there was some run, mate. Mm-hmm. I'm we the same as Andy, he gave Stephen Robinson the credit because at the beginning, I yeah, thought after the night, good coach, Stephen Robinson. I said he'd been a shiggly peg, and now he's obviously turned it around. And so sometimes that happens in my You've got to take time, like we said last season. You need to get your own players in and play you want to play. Mm. And it seems like they've now got a settled system, settled um, group of guys that are buying into what he wants. What I like to is because I hate people sitting in against Celtic and Rangers. I hate, I've said it on here before, but what you need to do is what they did and you sat in. But when it gets to a certain area, there yep. needs to be pressure yes. on the ball. And I thought they'd done that fucking Because teams have done that side, just sat in and sat in a hit. Yeah, we know the any way to get out or try to go and score it. And so that was outstanding for them. Brilliant. Right, Celtic, like what went wrong? And too many changes? Too many, yeah. I think he answered saying Is that easy to say though? Because they went up to Ross County and made six changes and they went comfortably. No, I think but I should say obviously against the, the week before the Livingston game there was going to be changes made. Then obviously that game got cancelled so it could move to then and I think the the players like Vickers and, and guys like he wasn't in the squad. I don't know if there's I think he was ill. Was he ill. So I don't know they're going away um to play internationals, but then there's going to be ten ga- when they come back to that um ten games in thirty days. So, so everyone's saying play your strongest team before then because it's an international but, they're still, break, but you're going, saying, huh? they're still going away to play so that might have been the only one you look at is maybe Jota he's not going away so he's your best he's your, one of your best attacking players um, so maybe but that team still sh- if you're right that should be good enough better than that I think anyway Aye, I'm a you <clears throat> I think it's easy to it's easy to blame the changes after the game but you look at Celtic squad it will team on paper before the game sure, it should be enough to win the games mm-hmm. you quite rightly pointed out they made the changes against Ross County and that's the reason they've got a bigger squad as it is and it's only last week we are talking about how good is Celtic's depth do you know what I mean you can't then be <laughs> reactive when they drop night. points a week after and say ah, but the, the rest of the squad aren't good enough I just, the only thing I would think uh, we, we, Carter Carter Vickers is that good though Carter Vickers I, would, I, I agree with you I, yeah. Yeah. I think he's a massive miss because we did talk about how good Celtic is going forward, but you see how important he is to Celtic. It's, the way they want to play as well on the front foot, but when they win it and hit the counter, he's very good at stopping. I it. still think that. Mm-hmm. I still think. Sorry, sorry. I still Sorry. think that had Celtic played up a level, I still think that St Mirren team were well organised. It would have been difficult, even with the, the strongest team. Not with the strongest team, but even if that team that played yesterday had just a bit of a notch up, I still think the way St Mirren were organised, it would still have been very, very difficult to break them down. See, my one surprise was with all the changes was that Jay Marcus never started. If a team's going to sit in, put crosses in the box, big striker in the, uh, in the Well, that showed when he came on, he had maybe only 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 minutes. Kyogo started. Kyogo was like, only playing me through balls uh, through no, to Kyogo. And then sometimes the ball's over top, he's trying to bring it down, and then they're on top of him. Nah, you're right. You play, you, if you're going to go, no light for light, but in that type of game, Gio Marcus is Has he started start. the game? No, nah, well? I think he has. Nah. Season, he yeah, seems yeah, to, but the difference between Kyogo, though, is. No matter if the team's sitting back, he when he comes on, he always got chances where yeah. the key goes no getting. Aye. Mm. Aye. But even like Moy and Turnbull doesn't know what I think they're dynamic nah. enough. I think it's here, like when they do well, the wide wide players stay high and wide mid- midfield players run and they so much energy in it. Moy and Turnbull are no the type of players. Just surprising that he made so many changes, the fact that they don't have a game this week. It's now they're gonna win an international break. Why why like they've had the a game in the Quite a lot of them pro- might go away international, Kevin, play two or three games no. now. And Wednesday. then there's that. So obviously they did play the Shaq Dad game during the week and I don't know if you, I take it you just watched that game that was like a basketball game at times yeah. so that, that would, I'd imagine there'd been a big <laughs> out, uh, output in that game but Celtic were I know we're talking about St Manning but Celtic were excellent against Shakhtar no. so maybe a, a bit, few times they didn't get that second them. goal but no it, listen you put it into one of those results you give St Manning the credit that they deserve Celtic just need to go away take the break come back and regroup they're still top of the league couple of points but what it does do, what it does do is give everybody else in the league an opportunity to watch that and say right okay a this, is what, this is what St Mirren did 
Can we maybe do the same? Celtic weren't at it though, Stephen. See the, 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 the goals that scored, they could have stopped it earlier on. And they were slow to react, slow to press. That's not what Celtic That's the thing, the goal, the goal, the, the second goal especially, the for me. Goal, like, Why does we have done that? Him there? I know. Why would you not want to have him there? I know. I've done that, be that striker that tries and flicks thing on. And I always think, see, if you, you say it as well because you've played centre half with, 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 with Broomhill and even in your later days at Peterhead. You don't, you just stand beside them. Mm. So as it comes, you just give them a wee nudge so they don't get that first header. I just don't, it's really poor defending from well, the first phase. Well, main beats Jens in the air, don't I know. He? But why mm. not put Jens in front of the main? Yeah, exactly. Right, so if it goes over Jens, then it's going to have to be a very good throw in. Yeah. Don't have it the other way around because yeah. main will bully the guy in front. But for me, and then like you say, Welsh, he's basically got a, the oh, big man down there. Pick. Is it sweaty? Oh, <laughs> I love he's, that. Uh, he's trying to. Uh, that's passion. That's passion. Right. Look. He's trying to that's grab. Passion he's got like. to hold a thing of his jersey and he's looking for a free kick. Why, why are you there? Yeah. Get yourself round so that you, he's in here and you've got him there. But anyway. Brilliant. Okay, I know, but Life's brilliant. No, good. Good, uh huh. Yeah. Life's what? Brilliant, isn't it? You know, this is the happiest I've been in so, so. Is it, mate? You've got a wee glow about you. You've got a wee glow about you. He's obviously making a few quid off that. Ah, yes, that's probably what it is. Right? Friday, Friday night. night. I'm the only businessman that loses out money every business. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never seen anything like it. He's like every, fucking... every business I've got a poor all sorts in and then don't get just nope. lose it. Off. He's Delta Rotter, isn't he? But you get, you get memories, mate. <laughs> memories, isn't it? Never throw no, it is it? It's amazing. But I'm not going to see the shots, please. What was but, I thinking, mate? I'll tell thinking? you what, he's only went for a fucking sunbed, hasn't he? Oh my god. Because if you put any shots up, you can see the Look fucking tan line. Man. Put the shots up. Strong right Oh yeah, fuck up. I love you, man. Fucking ready to play. Like a bill. She's looking for a bull, we've got one right here. I'm ready to be man now. That's a fucking calf. After he's in the store, I said that to the boys after the game. I'm in the fucking calf. I said that to the boys. Oh, how good was it in the dressing room after? Oh, amazing. I always come in and hear the noise and it's and it's fucking wild. Harry always, that that sounds good. And Frankie, Frankie's always buzzing. I think I should go in there. I should go in. I said, I fucking go in there. No, do not let him come in there, mate. Do you know, I meant to say this. It's like a wanger's flying about everywhere. See, uh, by the way, it's, it's, is a big, it? it's a big change in your room. Is you, it? Have you I had yours out yet? That's why I've stolen a shower. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I don't want to play. It's only mm-hmm. reason. All that come back, I don't want to play because my bully. Do you remember when you're like, do you ever, you're like young and you get put up to the reserves quite, I got put up to the reserves oh, quite mate. quick, mate, and see, I, I actually couldn't have, Enjoy the game, thinking, I need to get a shower. Well, let's be honest, mate, everyone is bit of toilet like that. Uh, of course you're like that. <laughs> but sometimes it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. You're like, how's this not getting there sweating? <laughs> what the fuck's it, blood? Oh, yeah. oh, and some oh, girls call you. Mate, they, oh, a big fuck I can't always call you. Me, man. Fucking hell. Get out of here. What's that? What's that? Oh, <laughs> Never had that problem, but anyway. Oh, Ken. You were the guy Ken and young boys, didn't you? Nah, they used to come in. I remember when I made that front page of the paper for having a big wanger and fucking come in and the first team of like, go on then, big man. Let's have a look at it. There's some. Nicky Sunway. Oh, I'm not having a big wanger. I know. I know, mate. I, I know yeah. what you mean. So I wanted to ask you this because Andrew's ruthless. Half time made two subs. Boys that hadn't been playing. Will it be a while until we? Uh, will it be a while until we see some of these players again, Jake? Yeah. But well, Jake, he's lost a bit of trust on a couple of them. I don't I think, think he's so. Think well, mate. Ah, you'll see them again. I think there's, there's too many games. As I said, there's going to be 10, 11 games in thirty days. That's doing your maths. That's three. Out of the ones that brought in, did anybody really have like a shocker? In terms of, you would say, oh the my one God. It's no Celtic. They just I've weren't at it. I wouldn't have said, like, you look at Ralston. Ralston, I thought, did all right. right. I, I thought Ralston did all I right. I thought, right. um, right. for what do you call him, the uh, Welsh, he could have a go at him maybe for the second goal a wee bit, but did any of them really look that they had a shocker? They just, I think it was they just, just more, didn't click as a unit. I, I thought oh, the full team is a bit lethargic because we right. always talk about Celtic the with a, dynamic. the high tempo, yeah. tempo. High pressure, quick restarts. It just it wasn't that, was it? So no. maybe it was just a bit of lackluster, should we say, Paul? What, what's your thoughts on Moy? So uh, is the game doing quite a lot for Celtic? Uh, I, I think, think so, mate. He's a tidy player, so. isn't he? But it's tidy, but Angie's but see what's holding him through them. When you watch Callum McGregor, everything's forward thinking. It's quick. Yeah. It's one, two touch. He's driving through the middle of the pitch. Aye. It's not the tempo was a wee bit slow. Was a kick class yesterday? Oh, mate, what about that kick class? Why didn't it? should just made one team go naked. Why did they say that? I can, you can tell he's not better. Matt McGee manager, manager, isn't he? You can tell he's Matt uh, McGee's Matt manager. Matt McGee's a manager. Matt McGee's a manager. Matt McGee's a Right, shirts and skins, my team skins. <laughs> oh, brilliant, man. Right, was a bad one, team point naked. Uh, it's a man up to third. Brilliant. Are they? Yeah, beat yeah. No, no. Fourth. Sorry, for the hearts end play to put them back down to fourth. I have fourth, but... Could they, could they finish top six this season? Right after that, looking at that game. Are you seen if he'd done the United as well? Um, 
It's maybe a, a team, a games where they've got Mary the ball, they maybe struggle. Yeah. I don't know. No, I, I think, very I think good they'll that set up, bind the ball and then hit the counter. I think they'll do all right, and partly down to the two boys up front. Yeah, they're, they're, they're I just think that, I just think like, in my hand. experience of playing in that league, handful. see any team that has like decent, a decent big guy and somebody else willing to work, they're always doing well in the Scottish Premier League. I don't know why or what it is, but I think, because I think, I look at Motherwell with Van Veen sometimes, and when Moult comes in, I think that'll be a deadly partnership as well. But for me, I think that the fact that they've got the two up front and they're well organised, I think they'll do all right. But who, who in, at this minute in time, apart from the Hearts have obviously got a good result again, who else is really... Hibs are coming Hibs, Hibs are now doing well, right? But obviously you've got to look at the fact that they, they got a man sent off. That might have changed the difference of that and game. They've they scored a few... Aye. And... Levy. Levy are up there. So, 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 two, so two teams that are well organised, Levy and, and St Mirren. And, and there's no reason why... Mate, Levy's no, flying. Nah. Yep. Yeah. Levy's one team that you would hate to go and play, isn't it? But they're similar uh, mate, they're side. They're very similar, home. the two yeah, teams. Yeah, similar In terms of personnel up front, things like that, big guys. Yeah. The, 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 like, it's no easy. Nah, no, nobody's the best they like. Mate, there's three points between third and eighth. Is there? Wow. And I know we're only, what is it, seven games in? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seven, so it's, it's not a big sample size, but three points. Because we actually, if we didn't, if we lost yesterday, we're bottom six. Uh-huh. And we win and you go third. So it's obviously, it's quite tight now. We're going to come on to you, but we're going to Rangers v Dundee United. How much abyss can they get after Celtic's result and theirs? But Dell's at the game, so Rangers are quite poor. I think that they'll get definitely get a bit face Dell because I think you're f- there was a few I think for the last couple of weeks that they're not going to get beat. Celtic could go mm-hmm. keep winning, keep winning, uh, and the, the point difference could get a lot um, wider, a lot wider. Aye, um, so obviously getting a win, but I, I, I still, I think it's still worrying the Rangers are playing there now. Yeah, and you mean they weren't very good, were they? The first twenty minutes they were very good. It, it, it generally could have been three up easy in the first twenty minutes. Obviously, Cholak gets his goal. Kent, Ryan Kent misses a sitter. He has a left foot turns into Brox, and then <laughs> Scotty Arfield misses Brock a Kent. great chance. Kent Brock Kent needs to score there. <laughs> Scotty uh, Arfield misses a great chance as well. But then for the twenty minutes onwards, honestly, I just I don't know what happens because. They come flying at the gates, which is probably what they've no done domestically for a long time. They get the goal, and then see if you 20 minutes on, see as soon as Dundee United get a wee chance or two. It's just so what, what, what does it go for? Just like forward, playing forward to what sideways and back? Yeah, just uh, quite slow in terms of the tempo and whatnot. But the only, I think the big positive you can take is you can spin it two ways. You all know what a week's like in football. Like you said, last week people are saying, well, where are Celtic going to lose? Who's going mm. to beat Celtic domestically? Uh-huh. A week later, they've lost. And yeah. Rangers will look at it and say, we're two points behind Celtic and we're not our best in it. We've not been our best. We've obviously played Celtic at Parkhead, so we've got two Ibrox old firms to go. But Good point. I do agree with you. Like, the, the, the level of their performances will need to get better. And I do think it will. Like, can he, uh, they're going to hit top gear at some point. Do you think he knows his best team, though? No, he doesn't. No, like probably the front, not. The front three, doesn't he really? Who's, it, who's playing out in the right? The, you say this, That's changed they've had an issue man. for so long. I've not got somebody out there. Um, obviously, Morelos... He's not played at all, and then yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Seems if I think, be, I think their best formation is three five two. With the two I said that last week. Side. I think that uh, Kolac and Morelos proper from, handful, mate. Lunch from goals. Even not playing great stuff, I would just go with the two up. Get your Barisic and Tavernier high. Barisic high, definitely. Okay, I think yeah. even in the midfield area, though, there's something ro- ro- rotating between game to game as well. Yeah. Lundstrom's playing every game. To be honest, what I will say is, is I was. Buzzing that Van Bronckhorst putting the two young boys, Leon King, oh, Charlie I mean, McCann. I mean, buzzing I with watched that. McCann in the Youth Cup final last year. Do you know what I loved as well, right? He wasn't brilliant, but seemed to lose the ball, doesn't he care? He's always trying to make Bro, positive passes. Uh, honestly, every time he gets it, he's looking at the strikers, he's playing with reverse passes. See if he loses it, he's straight away, right. front foot, trying to get after it. He's Leon a Leon King for me one. is obviously very yeah. good as well. But uh, R- Rangers, uh, for me, they, they, they've obviously got to get better, but you look at some of their key players and, and hope that they, they hit top form as soon as possible. But can you like to keep going on with Pitbull and goal? Have <laughs> <laughs> seen the goal? I know. I, I, it's the first time I've ever seen a Mr. role World goal. Wide, mate. Mr. Worldwide can't be in goals here if you want to do well. Honestly, the D-United are. I've just that, made that's a great thing joke. What was that? What did you say? It's, it's the first time I've ever seen a role on Diodon in goals, <laughs> but they've, they've heard it. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Rangers obviously they've got they've got a they've got a, a positive result, but you need to look at the, the, the opponents to D United who I don't think are they get a trouble, aren't they? They are miles off. How it, long are they going to wait for a manager? They are, they, they are miles off it. And I think some of the goals that Rangers scored, especially the second goal from Kolak, 
get across the front of the defender. And he, he's got a good touch, a good movement of a striker. But a def- if you're a manager of defending point of view, and that's how you beat your your region, mm. it's easy, it's easily avoided. Um, get back in positions, no stop the cross, but be in a position to try and. But for me, does the does the break now help Rangers maybe go away and regroup, or does it hinder them in the fact that, that Celtic's had a negative result? Rangers have got a positive result. Maybe what you kind of keep going. It's one of the, those that do you think maybe do they need a break? I don't know. Don't know. It's difficult. I don't think. To be honest, I think they probably do. No. Yeah, Rangers need a break. I th- I think it's coming I, a good time. See, to be honest, I think a lot of teams do. Yeah. I think Celtic probably do as well, just because the level of games they've played. I know it hurts. What I've said all season, I know we'll get to it, is you're never going to make excuses for the amount of games you're playing because it's the position you want to be in. You want to be in Europe, you want to be in cup competitions, but it's mere, you look at the injury situation, it's hard to get any sort of consistency or settled team because, I mean, our physio room and who's like, what a disco, I swear to God, the amount of players we've got in there. Rangers so are the same, hard, mate. The, amount of the injuries Rangers have got, especially at centre-half area. Suter, Hollander, Davies, all these boys have been injured. Sands obviously just got suspended. Celtic, again, like you say, the amount of games that some of them have played, but Callum McGregor, mate, he just plays everyone. I know, I know. Do you know what I mean? So it's just James Tavernier and, and Goldson, similar when it comes to Rangers, just sort of play all of them. I think the effort they, they put in through the week against the, the European games, that, that that's a big hindrance because like, it's great to be there, but yeah. if you look at the performance Rangers put in against, I thought Rangers were quite good against Napoli until obviously they said yeah, they the said not. penalty and stuff and things that I thought Rangers, but they haven't to work extremely hard like Celtic did a couple of weeks ago against Real Madrid for for 45 minutes 60 minutes very very good but mentally then draining it's mentally well. draining it's like this is going to have to catch up and you think mentally. great to have a break but when you come back is it just as easy to pick things up to get going again eh? aye because you, did you do you feel like on you you're obviously a manager Simon on your team you've had a break last week because uh things that unfolded with the royal family and stuff and then you've <coughs> big game a huge game on the Friday night do you feel there was anything your players. I actually came at a good time for us because, so as I say, Cookie Injuries went. And stuff. Cookie, no, but just because Cookie went and played left, left centre back, and if it was a, a week, you'd only had two days, but we've had two weeks to, to go work with, work with Cookie centre back. So, so, exactly so there's benefits to it. Uh-huh. But then again, it wouldn't have bothered me if we'd went and played no. the week after as well yeah. because you have won that game against Bonnet. So you're high. So you just got on with it, didn't aye, you? Whether it's a break or no. <laughs> Did Newcastle wee man, wouldn't you? Did Newcastle. How was it? I'm going to tell you now. Great. I appreciate Brett getting us the tickets and it's a great atmosphere. I love St James's Park, but standard. Average, mate. Aye. Average. How, uh, Nate, mate, I'm watching it, I'm thinking Newcastle are going to hear rotation, style of play. Basically pass the ball to Trippi and hope he fucking picks it the world he passed. Mental that. He's a joke, he was a joke, mate. Yeah, for your right back, he just ran the game for your right back. Mate, he was putting spin on his passes, he was trying he was trying all sorts. He was a joy to watch. Ryan Christie was one of the best players on the pitch. Was he? What best players on the pitch. Energy. Wanting the ball all the time, good decisions, getting in wee pockets. Like play, Newcastle had Almer on. Christie looked miles better, mate. How was the atmosphere? Well, it was a bit different because of the Queen and stuff like that, so it wasn't a... But it was a good day, good day, mate. I enjoyed it. Newcastle's usually one of the, the better atmospheres yeah. I always found in the Prem as well. St James's Park's brilliant, you been? Aye, I've been, I've been a couple of times. I, I went to the one that uh, Arsenal and Newcastle drew for each, remember? What, four, when Fiona scored half the volley? Four and a half ah. time, I Newcastle came back for each. I was at that. What were you doing at that? Oh. I think it was just... we. we Probably played on the Saturday. I don't know if the game's a Sunday, but I thought, all right, that I was dropped for the squad. Both of them are very possible. <laughs> and I uh, got a ticket for it and went to it. What a game it was, I know. Wow. Was a wee hunk playing on the Saturday? Yeah. A wee hunk. Is that Matty Target? Oh, wee targs. He's wee tigs. He's average, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he's average, mate. Honestly. See, I'll tell you what, if you go and watch the Premier League hell, games, man. I'm telling you, the, the, what the Premier League do well is they fucking overhype something that's not as good as nah. what Money, Big I sat, holy fuck. 60 million quid. Wouldn't they take him at Brimhill, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Wouldn't they take him? You know as good as Sam's. Sam's a fun nut. He's a genius. He's not getting anywhere near. Sam's not making him. No bother. Sam's come on the best nutmegs ever last week in training, mate. In the boxes. He nutmegs me four he's times in the session. He's a fucking good player. <laughs> mate, he, he's, he's looking really good. Uh-huh, Talking about nutmegs, but did you see George Grant's against Riga? Yeah. yeah. So it's good that he used to watch that game, but anyway. Well, we watched did it. Did you see it? I watched it. You watched it after training? No, the one when he's run to towards the touch and he does like two step overs and the boy lunges in outside the right. Oh, you were good. good. You were good, good you were Aye, we were. You played, I thought he played well. He played really well, actually. Uh-huh, you said that. Well, do you want to go? It's, it's a great link. Oh, no, before we go, because uh, Tomo, I think Tomo got an interview with the United job. Are they? Go on, Tomo. Come on, I, I would give Tomo it. Eh? I would give him it. Mate, I think I that, you, I, honestly... I look at United, mate, I don't really, I'm not, maybe I'm being a wee bit harsh because I don't see enough of them, but I don't really see an identity with them. 
No. no. I, don't, I couldn't tell you how Dundee United are trying to play. I couldn't tell you their best formation. I think if you get Kevin Thompson, you get that. You also get... You want the United don't want to develop young players. He's got a, a See, to be fair, I, I know. Be a perfect fit. I know Liam Fox. I need maybe take uh, me wrong, so. And I was on the, I was a runner for his uh, his allies. So he's doing his not his pro, sorry, and he is a good coach to be fair. Is he but I look at that team and think that suits Tomo down to the ground. Man. Those are young boys that want to play football, good technical players. So I hope he gets it. Obviously, good power shows. Yeah, they've got players that would suit his style. Guys, they've got they've and. got on paper they've got a really good squad. Yeah. They should be doing far better, but Mate. obviously, Jack Ross never got the time. Liam Fox is just coming in to try and steady the ship. Had a couple of positive results. Then he plays Rangers, it's not quite happened. But Big Charlie's got to be going for it, man. Aye. Honestly, has. Aye. I, as I said, when I played with Charlie, I've said this last week again, fuck. But when I played with Charlie at Selly, it was different for the rest of the players when he spoke about the game. He was really a coach mm. back then when he, when he played and he still allows talking to him all the time. So I think he's, listen, I don't know, he's still got a couple of years left there and wants to play, but. Very often, but you, you, while there's an opportunity there and you're playing, it's the best time ever to take course United it, is. Job, it has to be. You're not going to get many opportunities. Look at look at Tom leaving Kilty. He's not had a job no, since. He can't, get a lot, a lot, he, can't, he can't get back in. He's applying for a job here, there, and everywhere. While you're playing and you understand what you have in your dressing room, there's worth a chap at the chairman's door and say, "Look, I can take this team forward." Mm. But this is Charlie might have other aspirations. No, I ain't be tracking. I want you to coach Frankie's team in a track. Do we done United track you on Saturday? Aye. That's shocking. <laughs> well, you got to say, Andy, don't game it. Don't I know game. I'm jealous, but Big Charlie, man, he's all the time, Same every two it. minutes. Aye. Like, get a hairband on, big man. <laughs> he's some man. All right, we'll go on to Hearts then. Couple of wins in a row for Hearts. So, you did you watch the European game? I did, aye. Was it really good? Got the goal at a very good time. Right. And then fucking collapsed for three minutes. Craig Gordon had to pull off two unbelievable saves. Would you agree, Andy? Aye. One and un- then unbelievable. Aye. The, oh, what, what do you mean collapsed? Like they scored 42, 43 minutes. Something like that, aye. And then they gave away some fucking stupid free kicks that allowed RFA to put balls in the box. They just didn't defend them very well. Boy got a couple of really good headers. And then it was one broke and they got a shot. And big Craig saved them. I thought, oh my God, thank God they've got it half time 1 0. And then they came out and controlled the game quite well. And then I think you won a tackle in the, the, the defensive area. I got it in the midfield up on the break. We Barry McKay. Some of his through balls were a joke. Aye. And then uh, we Cammy Devlin uh, set up. Um, well, it must have been my tackle, was it? No, the, I, I, Andy <laughs> won the tackle. I think you lost the ball. Ooh. And then you got it back. Don't no, I blocked, I blocked, a blocked a shot. Blocked a shot. Blocked a shot. And then it was that. like be- between my knees Aye. in the box. And he was able to so get see, up. See one Aye. of the ones when you sit on it? You get away an indirect free kick, so I'm touching sugar up with my knee. <laughs> and then Lewis Nielsen does does great, obviously takes it off me and sort of just runs through the middle and digs but in. The you've, the got, game. you've got you've got previous things, you put your shoes heed between your and knees. And just keep that in there for ages. <laughs> but they controlled <laughs> the game, Hearts. Hearts controlled that. I thought they controlled it. The only way they were gonna lose it was due to their own stupidity. I did hear you well, were brilliant, man. Well, I think it was I was all, I was on Twitter. Hearts I think, fans yeah, was Andy won it. Huh? That's your level, man. Do you know what I mean? That's your level, man. Exactly. European football. Conference was it? Uh, conference <laughs> football, aye. But, uh, mate, honestly, right, this, this is no word of lie. So, when we're doing our analysis, right, th- uh, through the week, we obviously know they play 5 3 2, but the gaffers just put on the, the height of all their players. Mate, they're massive. Mate, what about the they are the point? biggest football team <laughs> in the world. The back three are all at least 6 3. The two midfielders, 1 6 2, 1 6 5, and the lone striker, 6 4. So see what you're saying, you right? Boy. All week we were at Nada Fills, like these boys are landing the giants. Mate, we gave away about eight free <laughs> kicks. we five minutes to go, wide three kicks. and so you, you, do, you mark, do you mark in the box? Mate, I mark every game giants, huh? Damn. Every game. But I, Your man never scores, tells you. I was, gonna, say, I was actually going to say that, right? But I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I was going to say it. But I always think, right, see if somebody's bigger than you. Just don't let them head it. Exactly. Like, just, you're not going to win it. Get like, them, just mate. get tight uh, for them and don't allow them yeah. to get a free header. But there's one bad point of the trip. Gary McKay Stevens crying on the flight. His ears popped. Aye. His ears popped. Aye. They never gave him a wee It's excruciating. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? My job, man. Did he, he get on me, man? He, he never got, got on. No, he didn't. He? No. He didn't get his jelly baby to start the flight. No. But he recovered well enough to give the pilot a wee clap. Yeah, he still, so. Three tears, he was still clapping. <laughs> Sets up a good double yeah. header with Fiorentina. Yeah. Oh! oh! Double header. But, but we just said a couple of. A couple of minutes ago, but Rangers and Celtic shows how quickly that week is in football. We no. obviously had a, no, a great run, no. but then the last two, two results, runs, you're going into the first break of the season, being third in the league and second in your, your European group stage. And we <laughs> probably admit ourselves, we're talking about our teams, we probably know how to our top I level know. either. But again, just what a run. Who's and you gave Robbie Nielsen your fucking couch jacket. 
She was like, well, yesterday. Not, no, and oh, the unseen footwear. You're Gila. You're, is, is the unseen as well? Oh, but the unseen one, he's no fucking slow, is he? He's not. By the way, Mash Pisser, I believe this. I get a message for the producer three days ago saying your scooter has been sent to the open goal office. That's true. Is it, it here? The accountant. Oh, it's at the accountant. Somebody sent it to him. Superb. Well, it's been the time good, mate. Somebody so I don't know done. how, it, maybe that's they've heard me say it and then they've realised I've nicked his scooter. Well, let me tell you one thing, uh, Paul. You must have spoke to him because Alan, there's no way Alan Forrest in the top bunk anymore. He's got his own room. Mate. Oh, mate, oh, he's, he's, he's got a own suite. He's in the man dad's bed in the man dad's bed. I mean, Jamesy have got the man dad's yeah, bed. He's in the suite a lot. He is outstanding, oh. that boy. Isn't he? The Forrest family, are, well, good. James and Alan are flying, but their brother's struggling, isn't he? Not on him. <laughs> 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 oh, it's Simon. I think that's quite good. Yeah, we are, good. We are, we are, we are, we are as rise to fucking where he's got to for me. He's fucking brilliant, eh? Amazing. So you were still no said I wasn't here when he was still no spoke since he came in. You his voice box, I don't know if it's rang with that, but he didn't speak it here. Didn't he's a pup, you know when he just was coming in. Ah, yeah, wasn't it? So he was playing. Did you see what he's going to have the careers? Oh, he was obviously like a wee skinny kid that fucking everybody just knew him as. Fellow sports, wasn't he? Aye. Was he fellow sports? So that's hopefully you feel great. And uh, he was, he was taking it like he's quite good, but I always thought he was just a wee scrawny kid. He's not going to. He was. He's, he's going to get in the gym, but see now he's got fucking growth, a bit better than Simon's, but he's got growth. <laughs> Clean shaven, isn't it? You know, we're always honest on this podcast. It's 3 0 1 goes. That's the worst thing I'll win in my well, career. Yeah, I feel for Stevie Hamill, mate. Every game he, he does well and they get beat. Let me tell miss? you right now, Motherwell are a team, mate. Uh, He's got them playing good football. What would the man's good? miss? I, mate, generally, say si, right, Mera just a collective, their identity. Team. It's like, I don't, I don't want to be disrespectful to, to pass, man, but that's the first time I've seen a Motherwell team play that type of football. Stephen Robinson, to be fair, had them playing a wee bit of yeah, that. Yeah. They had Tumbo and Hasty or whatnot, but they played very good football. And uh, first half, I thought both teams done well, but second half, when we went to another up, we were holding on for a period. They had a mm. lot of chances. I think they had a post, post and back three times or something like that. Uh, boys missed we up and the boys missed on the rebound. Oh, he uh, come off and he's put it. I was like, he's got to score. Yeah, four three three, man, my though. Four three three, aye. Who sits? Make the pitch big boy big. Maguire. Uh, they go more into a two and a one. It's like the boy Maguire and Sean Goss with the boy Tierney and number 10. But play good football. Tierney's lively, isn't he? Play good football. I mean, you going into that, because see, actually, our game against Riga on Thursday, you're talking about your boys doing 15k, our distances were sky high after that Riga game. So I think for us, going into the last game of the break, it was all or nothing and just give everything for three points. And, and again, like I said earlier, we probably know hit our top form. But uh, even yesterday, second half, we, we weren't at our best, but... Who's, no, your num- who's your number eight? He's new, isn't he? Is it Gio you've got in the back of his talking? Kio. Kio. Kio, aye. Wait, well, actually, giving him a bit saying he's a poor man's Kio go because he's got the whole Kio, Kio in the back of his And number eight as well. <laughs> but, no, first game from done well. Uh, it's not an easy place to go. Wait, that's the first time Hearts have won it for Parts since 2018. Is it? Aye. Shanklin was what good. Shanklin, Snoddy. What many is that he scored? I don't know how he scored, on. but it's the, it's the, it's, I never realised how good he was with the ball on his feet. Laying things off and being at the right place. You just set it, just as a ah, simple just, set. Just set, you? simple, get yourself, get yourself up against a defender, play it in my feet, lay it off to Forrest. He got his obviously his goal, the first one. Setting goals, unbelievable, and if he hurts. Really, really good. So who's the third? A third Two one. Two great goals, setting and yeah. third, yeah. Snoddy, oh. he got on. Came on last 20 minutes. Uh, he's, not, he's not really done much, to be fair, for the last sort of four or five months. He's maybe a wee bit behind the rest of the boys. But you can see he's. What's he been like in the changing room? Brilliant. Is he? Brilliant. It's, and you know what it's like, boys have got reputations in football, so when we've signed them, boys are like, ah, he's mad, isn't he? He's like, I was like, aye, wait, he was when he was younger, but he's older now. He's, uh, Peter he's forget he's aye, six, I said, it's not going to be the same. First day, he's in into just not the boys and that. He's came into the physical room, we Alan Forrest and all quiet as oh, a mouse. No. Goes up to him, he's like, what's happening, Alan? How are you doing? I'm going to shake my hand up. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like how, how are you doing, Alan? I was speaking to James the other day and we had we him. He's like, aye, what's he saying? He's like, says you're a wank. <laughs> <laughs> just walked away. I was like, there you go, it's not doing that much. He'll be brilliant though for you, mate. He'll be aye. Experience as well, mate. And see, see, I think with Snods, he started to play a few different positions now. He's, ask you that, he's obviously at uh, the later stage of his career. So, uh, even just in the last 20 minutes, I think he played a couple of positions in the last 20 and done well. Has Nielsen gave any wee hints where he thinks you'll fancy him playing? No, but. Probably just the team, team mate, we, ch- we change, you jobs change, change shape a lot. Mm. Aye. So, uh, I'd imagine he's he done a bit of training. Still got a level left fit in it. Aye, mate, he's still got, still, still got a lot of ability. But yeah. I, look, I look at our squad now, and we've struggled in terms of injuries since the start of the season, basically. But we've got a very good squad. Yeah. 
It's not like Ads are finished third. Right. I have nailed down. But that's Fiorentina game, mate. How is that playing Fiorentina, man? I, 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 can't, I cannot wait to play over there. Over there, that's amazing, mate. I, I, loved, I loved Fiorentina as a kid. Remember? Aye, Bastet. is always the one I remember. That's what football's about. I, I, I'm the same. I would fucking love to be going there. Sunday morning, I'm watching Go. What was it? Aye, James Richardson. James Richardson. That's the only thing. Mate, I'll show you a text on my phone. See, when we were doing a European draw, right? You all do the same thing. You're like, oh, who do you want? I put Istanbul. Fiorentina yeah. and I never put Riga I put somebody else and we got the two it's a Europa League I tell you what though we were the same with Bucket and we put Bucket it's a Europa League group you have got the standard I, uh, I tell you what Istanbul are a top side I know we spoke about that a couple of weeks ago but pff, they win the group you see when you do know. that pull up it's a Fiorentina strip that we man do that we tiny man we baby man we purple head we don't know but do you fancy yourselves you know <laughs> oh, it's going to be tough. Are they, are they, are they still decent beyond I think they're, they're just outside the sort of European spots now, but obviously finished. I think they finished in the top six last year, and see, I guess they're going to be. Was it going to be a while ago they got re- relegated into the sort of B and then they came back up again? They got relegated. Did they and they came back up again? But no, nah, listen, Hearts v Fiorentina, that's a glamour to so so Listen, yeah, the fact of the matter is, uh, as a group, we go to realise, see if you take something, Tyne Castle, we've got a chance, right chance of going through the group. Yeah. Yeah. So, Love to get to that game at Tyne Castle. Is it a Thursday? It'll be a uh, Thursday night. I'll sort these tickets, boys. Call it off. Could we move training? Call it off. Unless we have it out, Tyne Castle. Train at 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 Tyne <laughs> just giving boys money for days, out. That's an our business, you think? Because I'm going to get back. I'm going to my company money if things are tight. It's fucking out. It's really that bad. Hey, boys are living the life. Listen, see when they give you a friend, you try to give a wee bit back. That's it. They need to enjoy themselves. That's what life's about. Proper unit. Uh, right, Hibs, as we say, leapfrog Aberdeen in the six after beating them 3-1. Lee Johnson starting to prove the doubt was wrong. He's brilliant. He's just beating 10 men, isn't he? They get a tip. Every time Aberdeen every half. game's a 10 man. Somebody goes then, to 10 men. last game, Kelly, and then St. Johnson at the start of the season went down to 10 men. So it's quite, I still think it's a bit hard to judge. Listen, it's not easy playing against 10 men, but... I it did look as if Hibs were the better side in the first half, though, even right. though they were 1-0 down. Mm. But that, again, that, it's an our team, it's, it's obviously on a good run. I've actually, I've, I've watched Aberdeen, a wee, we've not played Aberdeen yet, but I've watched Aberdeen a few times this season, and maybe they look decent. Mm. I do think that that sort of bunch, uh, that obviously Dinny Day as well last year, have definitely got better. Yeah. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And, and going into that game at the weekend, I thought... I fancied it to be a draw and I, I thought whoever well, won that game it was going to be a massive result for them and obviously Hibs got it but I tell you what Jim Goodwin wasn't happy with mate, it Mate, again I, I'm going to your opinion on this I don't think that's a penalty I've watched that I've done clip. it mate they're I've, both wrestling each other right. I don't I think, think, think you give it one way or another you can see that no. either way because I've watched it a million times and and if you set and yell you're done I know what you're saying I, I just think that if he sees um Sands is it Sands Scales sorry Scales putting his hand over Portis Portis is doing it all the way so if you, I just, nah, it's a bit harsh, but you, on reflection, looking back, you can see why, but it is harsh. Mm. Do you know what it was like as well, right? And we'll come, obviously come back to this game, but seeing this at Mon Celtic game, see the amount of time Jens and men were pulling each other and the ref kept getting a foul oh, against one of them and I just chopped. Just so let they're it go. both at it, just let it go. go let the game go. I know. And I, I, I agree with you, I thought it was the exact same for that sort of penalty. Yeah. And there's always that so type of stuff in the Good box, was it? raging with Porteous, wasn't he? He wasn't happy. Have right? you seen the interview after and Porteous walks behind them? No. no. And Porteous is pushing himself laughing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're playing against him, you don't hate him, but if you're on your team, mate. I'd be loving that, mate. You'd hate him on your team, wouldn't you? I've given him What is it? He says that he, he cheat. He cheat. Did he say he cheats? No, what was his word? He, he wins penalties like that all the time. Cons, cons. Cons, cons are F all the time. Jim, 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 Jim Goodwin, Jim Goodwin said, that. said that about Porteous, uh huh. Oh, Jim, look good. Jim Goodwin, Pot Kettle Black, how he played. That's how he used to fucking get pumped. Oh, he had the sharpest kiss. elbows and fit. Oh, oh, right. oh, right. he, he used to go down like a. Aye. Must kill you that the amount of pressure, the amount of work these managers put in. And then decisions like that must. Neither but listen, I don't think it was a horrendous no, decision, though. No. No. But the thing is, Slaney, if, if, you're t- if you're one of your players is doing that and you get a penalty, no, you're buzzing you're not going to fucking give any trouble for it. Well, you're going to well, start money if you get a penalty. So, but... for, 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 like Jim Goodwin, it's just frustrations, isn't it? Because his Aberdeen side went 1 0 up of 8 Hibs, and you're thinking, right, okay, and he probably feels hard done by that they've got an easy penalty, but. Well, that decision just. It, it kills, kills Jim. Hib- it kills him. Hibs had, Hibs, Hibs had some good, good chances before that. Aberdeen, Aberdeen goalie, goalie decent. Aye, Aberdeen goalie made some right good yes, saves. Good and then obviously at the end, the term you saw the miss for the, the Aberdeen strike at the end. Yeah. Miofsky. Miofsky, that's mm. a bad miss. But it's a great header Mate, for Aberdeen's goal. Does he, he's what, he that. Oh, what a header that is, by the oh. way. I think he means it. 
Aye, because as soon as he go, he, he's looking, yeah. well, I fucking finished by the way, but um, listen, heads, they are on the march. <coughs> See, talk about bold managerial decisions, right? And we've not spoken about this at all this season. Jim Goodwin uh, dropping Joe Lewis coming yeah. into the season. Oh, best player for about five years. Nah, like he's he's been, 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 I agree with you. Was very good. Nah, Joe Lewis last year, mate. If you go back last year and look Aye. at a lot of his, he, he had a lot of calamitous errors last year. So I can understand why maybe Joe Lewis has been given the push to the side. And that new goalkeeper that's come in, kind of really questioning it. He's, he's, done, he's, well, done, he's done well. Mm-hmm. Has his brother still got the clay, clay's business, John? John, aye. He's doing well at the he's other brother, isn't he? He did. Remember, remember Peter Manley farted when he, 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 he walked out greeting? Do you remember? Like, Manley was like... That's right, aye, he was stinking <laughs> on the stage, aye. He did lose his greeting. Manley done him. So he won. So that's us. Hey, so, so, I want to talk to you the threes about this. A good mate of mine, he's, we've not been speaking obviously the last few days because he's under, he could be on, on his way out, Brendan Rodgers. Wow. Mm, toilet. I think it's time to go on it. I think it's, it looks like his time's up, innit? Uh, his yeah, time's up, but listen, this is he's, fi- he's not much money to spend, does he? And that's Brendan. No, but is this the same though? Because listen, I'm really close to Brendan, so I'm not going to give him my, what I <laughs> personally think. But What's he thinking just now? Do you know what I say? I can't say what he's But from an outside, you've heard a lot of people saying at Celtic was kind of the same, Rumbling's going to win about money. And then at Leicester, it's the same thing that's going on about uh, money. So. Is it not starting to remember Brendan Rodgers? No. Not at no, all. But you need but, money to compete. But, but to be fair, I, the way le- <laughs> That was just what people were saying. <laughs> but the way Leicester have been, they've, they've not spent a penny. And just, no. Obviously sold for Fana for 80 million as well, or 70 million, whatever it was. I know, there's only so much a manager can do, mate. How, how can you... He had them fourth one, fifth year one year, won the FA Cup. Since then, he's I've lost like three's best. No. no I've not pushed I know, I know, funny, I, know I, I don't... I don't, I, I don't really care. Footballers there, especially on here, but the goalie man doesn't know. Oh my he's god, is it Danny Ward? Uh, he's doing well. Somebody, actually, Aberdeen, wasn't it? somebody actually put up, man. Who, who is it? They play Man City, I think, the first game after the break or something. Mm-hmm. Could be fucking. Oh, that could be. Is that who, Matt? I, 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 I think it is. I, that could be fucking. That could be a good Haaland and Mbappe. Haaland all, all day. day long. And then Mbappe's a joke. Mbappe's shite. Haaland's a shite. Is it? No, Haaland's the best. Haaland's Jamie O'Hara said PSG are unbelievable. Did you watch them? Madrid derby last night. I did, I fighting after about four minutes. Mate. I know. That's two one, yeah, two one. Yeah. Yeah. Real Madrid are a joke. Do you know who was a joke, mate? The boy Valverde. Ah, how good I is he? I didn't think he was good, but yeah. Valverde, <laughs> fucking brilliant. It's a joke last how night. How quick is he? Mate, yeah, fucking PSG Messi started from fat on fire as well. Yeah, they were saying that. Is it three four three? They went. He's a goat, mate. Mate, he's unbelievable. Yes, he's the best ever. He's the best ever. Fucking ridiculous. Next one. Yeah, I would go Messi. Aye. I'm a Sam. Who did I say? Ronaldo. Sam's. Or maybe Cookie sent off. Cookie's a joke, isn't it? I'll right. tell you, the, the YouTube questions are pathetic this week. I know, how's it only two? That's because of, that, that tells you everything about last week's podcast. I, I read them I last night. I think only two me. guys that watched it. These are the only two guys that watched it. I read them last night and thought, hopefully we'll cut them out. Jay Fitzpatrick. Jay, what does Jay look? Oh, it's Brendan. Mate, that's, that's, the, that's the picture that Charlie put in the, <laughs> so the is, group chat. Maybe it is Brendan. That is you, Brendan, Question. look. Who is the best and worst? Is that a bit of shit underneath his nose or is that a moustache? <laughs> Listen to Paul Grady, mate. Where's he done? Paul Grady. I'll send his life. Paul Grady, what a shout that is, man. That's unbelievable. Paul Grady. He's the best and worst players. What, mate? That's a beauty. Ah, that's a beauty. Aye. Do you remember Janine? Do you, do you remember Janine in East End? That's how sexy she was. Ah, I like Janine. Oh, she was the one, mate. Ah, Janine kicked out the first time I felt had feelings. Did you realise you had feelings? I never. I know. You've definitely done something to yourself watching East Enders before. I know, because I remember the one cat's lit was waiting in the bed and Alfie was running around London trying to find a job. <laughs> 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 and I kept going like myself, Alfie, hurry up. <laughs> I'm not to watch this. I always remember. Um, do you remember Tony Fleet and Martin Adams playing darts? I've never <laughs> watched these tenders. Yeah, I'm telling the whole world, right? Watch Tony Fleet playing Martin Adam. Will Fate at darts. You will never laugh at this new oh, life. Is that the guy who kept dropping the darts? Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> Watch us. You'll never Who's go- the one that talks about the devil? Ted Hanke. Ted Hanke. That's good. Double six. Ted Hanke. Uh, what was he said? Double six, you flag. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what he says on the hang when he's playing. That's right, aye. Hey, Paul, take it away. He's back, sorry, he's back playing darts, isn't you? No. I thought you were. I, I went back, but I just couldn't, couldn't rekindle love. Oh, have you felt a love it? I didn't like it. Nah, just... I'm going to share that with him. What was the nickname? Mine? Mm-hmm. I didn't hear one. What's a good what was your walk-on music? I didn't have one, just uh... a... <laughs> 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 
I don't know. Darts are just rocked up. Fucking had a couple of juices. Just farted and got on. Fucking it. won my matches and up the road. Just farts completely at a speaker. And then uh, I got to a few finals just in that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Different levels of farts. Don't get me wrong, that just happened on the hockey. People fart and you get the egg ones and they fucking linger for fucking ages. They're stinking. That was a Gary Anderson interview ah, as well. Oh, that's Gary amazing. Anderson. You can put your finger on the face. Where's the me? Where's the me? If you're rich. See these two questions? Just, no, 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 I was dead. Come on, it's Andy's part of it. Right, Jay Fitzpatrick. The Fitz. The Fitz. Question for the next episode for the lads. <laughs> Who's the best and worst dressed players you have played with? Best dress for me would be big Elliot Ward that played with. Oh, he was a handsome oh, boy. Darren aye. Ward's. I played aye, with his he brother, always Dan. had nice like suits and that when we came to match days and stuff. Thing, eh? And then the worst dress would be big Niall Quinn. He's the only man ever to rock up into training with a pair of wellies on, skin tight jeans, and a black leather waistcoat. Quite like it. Oh. Don't mind that. <laughs> don't mind that. And don't mind that. By the way, his nipples. Then, what were his nipples then? <laughs> I don't know, but fucking a black leather waistcoat. Obviously, that's right up your street. Don't fucking mind it, by the way. What about you, Paul? My my worst. I didn't. Well, he was my manager, Neil Lennon. Terrible. Worst. Yeah. Horrendous. <laughs> flared, flared jeans with Converse that were too big for him, and the Converse just turned up right outside the flared jeans. So <laughs> Scott he, Brown's up there. Scott Brown's aye. beer is fucking was shocking. I don't know what it's shocking. like now. Aye, aye, he didn't. When he was sponsored by Puma, and he used to actually wear Puma t-shirts with a pair of jeans just and a pair of Puma trainers. Horrendous. Aye, definitely. And and best. Converse. Best. Oh, shit. It's always a foreigner. Danny McGrain, very well dressed. Aye. He was every very morning. Very well was. dressed, mate. We had, uh, jumper, shirt, nice trousers, nice shoes. Aye, he was. We used to get showered. He used to get changed with us in the reserve dressing room. I'm going to Kenny Medell. I'm going to Kenny Medell. Kenny well dressed. Kenny Medell was well dressed. Well dressed. He'd be low for say slip on low for with a wee silver buckle at the front. Worst yeah. dressed by a country in my own Craig, Cal- Craig Calcutt. Aye. What is he? Oh. He's tacky, isn't it? You could tell. But the tightest. <laughs> <laughs> the tightest stuff ever, mate. And you, you've seen him, he's got like. He's a big inspired man again. He's just got. <laughs> he's 100% of be inspired, man, you can tell, man. <laughs> right, rather be inspired, he's boys. He's got the tightest stuff ever, man. Trousers, touch. GMS is well dressed. Is he? I wouldn't put him as the best so dressed tidy, player I've played with, but he is well dressed. Best dressed Where's player. Where's he goes for his class? Baby Gap, isn't it? A Gap, <laughs> I am. No, there's a next that's just opened up in Thursday, first ever, so. <laughs> <laughs> he's right in there best dress I've ever played do you remember the boy uh, George Friend yes Middlesbrough Middlesbrough Exeter farmer uh, boy but back. honestly mate, every, boy, day, no? every day every day suit trousers and a shirt oh, he's always like every day in training I don't yeah. like that it's too much I know yeah, dress every day as if it's your last I, I, I told you mate, when, when I turned 30 I was at I'm binning all my time. I need to stop my time. Track is yeah. 30 year old man. I know. She'd never run a track, mate. No, when you're, no, when you're a bit older. I don't hear style. <laughs> so you sure, don't want so me? I don't hear style. I don't really care. I'm not really that fussed. No, nah, well, see, when you were like, your head is under, what would your dungarees oh, have? <laughs> fucking hell. Leather skirts. I just had this conversation the last day. I was talking to somebody about, uh, a bit like fucking imagine you farting in a leather skirt pleasing <laughs> pleasing people for the sake of pleasing I used to get and buy all the designer gear and fucking only bought Mate. it because I thought you had to buy it that was part of the role of being a footballer but I remember bowling into fucking uh, that bit up in Edinburgh Harvey Nicks uh-huh. and I bought a £1,200 cream leather ticket <laughs> are you saying that is and I don't know why I bought it where's it now I lost it. I'd love to I see you wore it, cream right? jacket. I right. wore it. What would you wear? Sorry, see you wear a cream leather jacket. What would you wear on your life? I think well, it was like a cream leather jacket. To, it was to well, there. Like just a wee, a wee short number. And I think I wore like black train, black black trousers with like Hugo Boss shoes and a white shirt and this fucking cream jacket. That and I sounds thought, quite nice. What the fuck am I wearing? But see, you saying that, that though, right? I don't know. Awesome. If you, like, so you're talking about. Have you ever had like a purchase for your career? You're like, oh, why have I done that, man? Bought a D and G jacket for about an hour and a half, didn't it? Aye, <laughs> mate. It was a I'm, fucking I'm rag, mate. Ah, mate. No, they never oh. a visu. The visu with the squiggly line on the hip, the pocket. Uh-huh. I had Imagine. them cream cords, visu cream cords. Oh, imagine you fart, man. <laughs> imagine him, he's team little dude. I went through a phase constantly. No, that Gucci thing. I've never seen any day. So devastated, man. I was I depressed about three days after Took that. it back after five minutes. And, and the guy said, you only, only get a credit, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went through a phase at sale. I used to wear uh, G-Star jeans. So long G- ago. I used to wear G-Star, G-Star jeans or Diesel. And they were so baggy, boot cut. <laughs> and then uh, all St. <laughs> Paul's, but they were so baggy. G-Star jeans, boot cut. Have you seen a bitch in New York with it? 
Have you seen that picture of me with New York with the <laughs> diesel turn ups? No. I'll, send, I'll put it up the day for you. Stick it up. Mate, so what? I've got your insta in there. I've got your insta in there. I've got your insta in there. I've got your Bo- the boot here or no? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I had went, them for school, mate. Mate, I had them Timberland boots, pair of boot cut jeans, and a wee fucking shirt number. Uh, I was a, I was a big, I was a big shirt with a jumper over the top. Oh, well, you're right. Aye. Uh, see when I, see when I first signed for Middlesbrough, so right, I obviously went for sixty five quid a week to my Middlesbrough contract. Tomo and Boydie took me to that big shopping centre in Newcastle. What's it called again? Ah, uh, the Metro. The Metro. Right. So me, Boydie, and Tomo, I. I probably been there about a month or something so I've still got any money and we've went to this metro and boy then Tom I'm buying all the gear and all that I'm like I need to buy something man I bought a pair of Prada trainers for 500 quid seen the full way home I was like ah, <laughs> devastated I'm like, I'm like, I'm money, I can't even enjoy them I was like I've actually got any money why would I spot the trainers just pure crumbled man in front of them but I mean, my man had to take my bank card off me when I went to sell it because I was buying so much shit, mate. She, <laughs> I had a she, 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 she done on like she works in a bank, my mum, so she could see what I was spending. She phoned me, like, Get, I'm coming down and taking that fucking it card. Was like, buying, just just, and, oh, I was a shite, mate. Uh-huh. I just bought loads I'd go as and spend like 20 quid, mate, to stick myself. Just buying a load <laughs> of shit, man. Remember in Asda back in the day when they used to have the wee button and the cow noises came out? Came out? I was thinking about that the other day. Remember what was that? So the milk about? section, there was a big cow seat. <laughs> And he just pressed a button like, move. Why was that there? <laughs> so, I can't Do remember that. There was no reason for that. Aye, and as that, aye, it was. Would you fart the leather skirt? <laughs> for like, good money, because I'd be willing to... I'd love it if you money though, would you? A mini skirt? I, I just bought <laughs> loads of names. I was running So you could actually see names, it coming out the bottom? Loads of names, and made sure they were seen. A bit like people now with Stone Island and stuff, and they uh, make sure the badges are. Oh, I had like the Prada top oh, with the red stripe. Oh, wow. Did you, mate? The Prada shoes. Huh, not, see the Prada shoes? I must have bought a pair of Everyone week. had them though, didn't I, they? Like the black ones, the Velcro fucking ones. Velcro ones, the fucking white trainer ones, I had even the brown slip-on fuck ones. Fuck me, you had a few, you, that's quite oh, a lot. Oh, fuck it. I used clothes. to buy, what was it, Paul Smith, I love Paul Smith. Paul Smith, They were good. I've just sold them, she actually, she's on this fucking website selling all the like, old, my, oh, oh, I kept all my stuff. So I've got a lot of this. How much did the leather skirt go for? The leather skirt. <laughs> uh, she's, I bought a Paul Smith uh, jacket that was maybe about 1200 quid and she sold it last year on Vimeo, uh, Vimeo or something, something for 14 quid. Is that the most expensive? 14, 14 quid. Quid. Some, quid. I bought it second hand for 14 quid. Have you paid 1200 quid for that? A 10 year old. <laughs> that's, some business by money. Way, that's, some, that's some investment. That, oh. isn't it? But that's what it just shows you when you're young, so daft, and stupid. Oh, man. Nah, Wait, is that the most expensive thing you bought? Like 800, like, my, my, a jacket. 800. I bought a Couples leather jacket for something like that, 900. Couples is nice, so uh, I've got a couple of Couples suits. They were, they're a bit of grand, aren't they? Uh, uh, it's fucking too expensive, man. Right, let's move on. I, honestly, we need to wrap the podcast and just talk like that. Uh, and a YouTube yeah, question, bro. MAA96, question for next episode. If you could have a fantasy career do over. What three teams around the world would you like to have played for outside of the UK? Wow. And are there any surprise clubs? Love the podcast, lads. Mocha Juniors, uh, 100%. Aye. And Bombonera. Well, you did, wee Tevez. You played keep, for them, wee man. Got to keep El Presidente right, ain't you? <laughs> wee Tevez, what are you talking you about? My, you you dyed your hair black and... <laughs> um, I bought Mocha Juniors, maybe one. You just can quick... I, I would say it. Monaco. Because, oh, of the, the, the loca- because of the location. Monaco's an amazing place. I'd also go for LA Galaxy because of LA. I would love to uh-huh. experience yeah, that. that yeah. And then so. I'd probably go for like Slaney, I like Boca or River Plate, one of the two, because of. Don't think you've got mentality. Just the mentality. <laughs> <laughs> just the mentality. I just would like to play for one of them because of the atmosphere of one, in one of the games. That'd be amazing. Mine's is Ajax. Ajax. Oh, aye, aye. Aye. good shout. Fatty. Yeah, just because total, total football just total soccer aye. Aye. and they have the been for 60 it. years never changed it's a night doesn't matter what manager they've got and the nightly five for Slaney I'll see Slaney's statue in there as well not what sure other teams? So you just got Boca um, Brim Hill Man U nah, outside the UK up, outside the UK aye aye grew up I, best, Chris, you grew up watching Scratchy <laughs> Passing didn't you Scratchy Passing aye uh, I was outside the UK outside the UK he says Aye, the, the, the Man U, what's the Man U team in FC Manchester are called? Aye, still in Manchester. Still in Manchester. Still in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> outside of UK. Where are you going for? So I saw only. I always liked Fiorentina, mate, as a kid. Aye. Loved Fiorentina, huh? So I, I like to know what it's like, you, man. I like to know what it's like, that's the end. Barcelona would be outrageous. <laughs> but um, I don't think who else I loved. <clears throat> You've not asked him how his podcast getting on? I was on it last week. 
I'll show you what that is. Last week's episode. I actually amazing. really enjoyed it. Because uh-huh. it's good, because we've not really seen that because you're always the host. It's good to see that side of you. Thanks, mate. We all agreed that when, when he f- that first started asking questions, we just gave him one word answers. <laughs> <'Cause when> I, <laughs> yeah. gone, I tell you what, he's a good host, isn't he? He's a very good host. Yeah. No, I'm terrible. You are good, nah, mate. Yeah, no, you're good, mate. I collapse when nobody speaks to like I actually really like that, that podcast. I'm, I'll, I'll be honest, I'll tell you if it's shite or no, but I really like that mate, podcast. Mate, the voice on the team, can I believe it? Right. who's on next week's podcast? Uh, Who no, who's on next? Who's can you guys away pre? Can you guys away? Who's on this week? Exclusive, who's on? Well, we're, we're in a <coughs> behind the scenes, obviously, we have a meeting every Monday now. Uh, before it, me and the, the producers, and we sit there doing a series we want. So we might go. So when's that? Because you've came straight for your more to hear. So when was the meeting? Can't show this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get, we, maybe get two of the boys in the team, but. I came up with the idea of the day and they, they get really excited, the two producers. Very excited, you know. Why what did I mean? they start dating each other? They watch it to them, honestly. Couldn't believe they were doing it. Two of them were doing that, so I was sure. But no, listen, none of that. Was them that bought the leather skirt or. They're <laughs> trying to own each other. I can't wait for this idea. Can't wait for this idea. So the idea is with you and Dale on and you talk about it, I'm going to put out there, maybe via Instagram, the best car journeys in, Inst- in your career. So we'll get three players that are. are uh, the car school and get the car schools on because it's always better when you're only people in it you can talk about but I think we'll get the boys in the team I think it's important that I think I'll miss that one I think I'll leave that <laughs> one that is not when it goes <laughs> back to the morning I'll start watching it I'm busy in the morning by the way Steph's been away now look <laughs> how have you been keeping yourself busy? <laughs> eh? how's it been with the boys <laughs> that that quality that? time? no 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 <laughs> Been there hard this week. Have you been on it? Have you been on the laptop? Have you been on the laptop tonight? How long have you been away for? I think got a laptop now, eh? Got windscreen wipers on it. <laughs> How long she been away? Wipe after. What is it? She's been away. She been um, away? Wednesday she went away. She came back last night, mate. Honestly, she's great. Glad to see her. I am uh, really happy to see her. Not what? as happy as you think. Nah, nah. nothing like that happened. Nah. Boys, hard up with the boys. Yeah. Well, I, think she, I think she's been working hard while she's been away. <laughs> <laughs> well, she she was said that she was born. She said that bed. I think she's been working hard. She's really tired. Very tired. He's working harder now. Yeah, it's a bloody shame. That <laughs> is a shame. What a blast. Jill, has been away. Somebody, uh. She's been away, aye. She got back on, uh, she actually got back on Friday afternoon. I've got back for Latvia and went straight to the open goal game, so that sums up where my priorities are done. Oh, boys, be outstanding. Right. Just worry. a wee one for next week. YouTube questions, keep them going. That was, aye. That, it was quiet bit, this week. Aye, we need quiet. a wee bit. Aye, aye, probably, where's Darcy? That's what I want to know. Aye, where's Darcy? But see these YouTube things, questions, they're, 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 they end up leading to a story aye. sort of reflections you are. Yeah, yep. we memory done it. Aye, that is good. Who's wanting a, want a free coffee for Pret? <laughs> mate, I've got you a try to get anybody in the town. Pret, mate. You, you pay twenty five quid and you get five a day. So I just walk about the tune, mate. But you need to wait like a half an hour in between one. So the same guy I go every time and he's fume. <laughs> Why would you be fuming, mate? It's not coming out of your I pocket. Know. That's what I actually feel like. Mate, I don't think it's any day with that. It's just the fact that you're walking for steps. To get there, get your coffee and sit outside for half an hour drinking it and then walk straight back in. Do you know what I think it's so what, the what's the deal? Though, so you no? pay 25 quid a month, you get five a day. Why would you not make it used to? Mate, just one So I sit in there, my. 25 quid a month, and five coffee five a day. A day. Nah. Best deal ever, mate. I bet it, it's the best deal, right? If you're not having to pay fucking 20 quid a day in fuel to come in and get it. Aye, uh, true. <laughs> but there's a prep on Byers Road, isn't there? That's where he walks down. I walk through the town, Byers Road, back to the town. And then up the steps some again. God, nah, isn't it? I know. <laughs> Just for a coffee. Right, boys. No, 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 no. Nah. What's your favourite holiday? Remember you said that? Favourite holiday you've ever been on? Oh, Magaluf, 2002. Magaluf is brilliant. Magaluf, honestly. Bucky.